A former Radio 1 DJ and matchday announcer for Middlesbrough Football Club has been sentenced to 12 years in prison for sex crimes against children in the Philippines. Mark Page, who's 63 and from Ingleby Barwick near Stockton on Tees, used a webcam to contact victims and travelled to the country. Page had a show on Radio 1 in the 1980s and was the man behind the microphone at Middlesbrough's home ground for 20 years. His victims have been rescued and are now in care. Phil Connell reports. Hi, I'm Mark Page. Welcome to Middlesbrough. He was a well-known broadcaster for more than 30 years, the match day announcer at Middlesbrough Football Ground and in the 80s a DJ on Radio 1. At Teesside Crown Court, though, Page's career was this week brought to an end. The 63-year-old from Ingleby Barwick today sentenced to 12 years in prison for sex crimes against children. The court was told how Page's crimes involved children in the Philippines, a boy and two girls aged 12 and 13. The court heard that he'd taken advantage of the country's poverty and deprivation, deliberately targeting vulnerable children and robbing them of their innocence for his own sexual desire. As the judge pointed out, the Philippines is the global epicentre at present of this um, epidemic, effectively, of child abuse due to the poverty of the children there. Um, whether or not it started as a legitimate business venture across there, as he suggested, we don't know. Um, but certainly where it ended up, he's now answering for that. Although Page travelled to the Philippines to find victims, he also abused children via a webcam from his home on Teesside. Police also had recordings of Page asking his smart speaker incriminating questions. Age of consent, Philippines. Can you use a pseudonym with Western Union? We know where celebrities have misused their position of, of celebrity and, and power to, to gain access to the most vulnerable people in society. And I think the, um, the conviction today really shows that nobody is above the law. Cleveland police officers were praised in court for their role in the investigation, helping to rescue Page's three young victims from child prostitution. The man who abused them now behind bars and on the sex offenders register for the rest of his life. Phil Connell, BBC Look North, Teesside Crown Court. The widow 